Hey there, welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brains player too. Today, we're going to talk about Overwatch, best known for its huge cast of colorful characters, but the one that graces all the box art and posters is this lass, Tracer. She's nippy and quick, perfect for darting behind enemy lines, causing havoc, and zipping back to safety again. She's such a pain in the bastion because of her two special abilities. Blink leaps Tracer 5 meters in the direction she's traveling, and Recall rewinds her 3 seconds, which is useful for getting away from bombs, restoring your health if you catch a few bullets, or if you keep blinking off cliffs like I do because I'm not very good at Overwatch. According to Blizzard, Tracer's powers are possible because she can speed up or reverse time. Put another way, she can move in the fourth dimension however she likes. But are these abilities possible according to our understanding of the universe? Could you bend time to teleport or even travel backwards in the fourth dimension? Normally, we think of the world in three dimensions. We can define the location of something relative to us, like say Widowmaker in a sniper's perch, using coordinates on three axes. An x-axis that's forward and back, a y-axis that's side to side, and a z-axis that's up and down. But in the early 1900s, German mathematician Hermann Minkowski realized that the coordinate for time was missing. Knowing the longitude, latitude, and elevation of Widowmaker isn't helpful if she isn't there anymore. You have to know when she'll be there too. But unlike the other three dimensions, we don't have much freedom of movement on the timeline. No matter how much we run around in circles or jump up and down, we still move forward in time. We call this the arrow of time, and strangely, we have no idea why it has to be this way. Nothing in the equations that describes the laws of physics says time has to move from past to future. The math works just as well going the other direction. And yet the destruction in the waiting room never reverses itself, even though mathematically it could. The best explanation we have for why time only moves in one direction is because of the second law of thermodynamics. Entropy always increases. Chaos is more likely to occur from order because there are just more ways for something to be chaotic. So moving backwards through time isn't expressly forbidden. Tracer could do it, or even you could do it for that matter, provided you had the right technology. Then the question becomes, how do we learn from the future? Tracer could theoretically rewind to a point before she walked into a trap, but her consciousness would have to keep flowing forward to keep her from making the same mistake twice. And there's no realistic way to rewind her body, but not her mind. Luckily for her, we, the player, function as her mind, and we are still moving through time normally. The way she blinks is a bit dicier. Supposedly, she does it by moving through time faster than everyone else. In-game, she can use it to leap across large chasms. In the real world, her fall would follow the same arc it normally would, she'd just reach the ground sooner. But the game bends the rules a little to let her reach normally inaccessible places. It also doesn't show what she would see if she moved through time faster, because it would mean slowing the game down for everyone else, and in an online multiplayer game, that's no fun. Fortunately, there is a game that shows what it would be like if you move through time faster than everyone around you. And it's the subject of our next episode. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. We're open to suggestions for more games and topics to cover, so let us know in the comments. And don't forget to keep on playing.